हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ ऑर्डर ऑफ इवैल्यूएशन ऑफ डबल इंटीग्रल्स एंड कपल ऑफ एग्जांपल्स ऑन इट सो लेट अस सी व्हाट इज चेंज ऑफ ऑर्डर ऑफ डबल इंटीग्रल्स एक्चुअली इट इज स्वैपिंग ऑफ ऑर्डर ऑफ इवैल्यूएशन ऑफ इंटीग्रल्स दैट इज इफ ऑर्डर ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन इज डी एक्स देन आफ्टर चेंजिंग ऑर्डर न्यू ऑर्डर इज डी वाई डी एक्स नोट दैट चेंजिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम डी एक्स डी वाई टू डी वाई डी एक्स इज नॉट जस्ट राइटिंग डी वाई डी एक्स इंस्टेड ऑफ डी एक्स डी वाई वन हैज टू ऑल्सो लुक फॉर द न्यू लिमिट फॉर इन साइड एज वेल एज आउटसाइड इंटीग्रल सो लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड द स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन दिस टेक्निक आई कॉल दिस मेथड एज थ्रोइंग एरो मेथड step 1 of this method involve rectification of equations of curves which bounds the region of integration and drawing of them for example in case of double integral of f of x comma y dy dx over the limit p of x comma q of x and a comma b the curves which bounds the region of integration are y is equal to p of x comma y is equal to q of x and x is equal to a and x is equal to b now in step 2 if we want the order of integration to be dx dy then we throw arrows parallel to x axis first from left to right and then we throw arrows parallel to y axis from bottom to top and vice versa that means if we want order to be dy dx then we throw arrows parallel to y axis first from bottom to top and then for dx we throw arrows parallel to x axis from left to right look at this diagram if we want order to be dx dy then we will throw arrows parallel to x axis from left to right in this way and then we will throw arrows parallel to y axis from bottom to top now in step 3 when we throw arrows for the first time we should observe the curves through which these arrows get into the region of integration and come out of the region of integration so here when we throw arrows parallel to x axis first from left to right we will observe the curve through which these arrows get into the region and this curve through which these arrows are coming out of the region now if we see that the arrows are passing through more than one curve to get into the region or to come out of the region we will split the region of integration into multiple regions such that each new region will satisfy this condition look at this example here this square represents the region of integration when we throw arrows parallel to x axis we see that these arrows are getting into this region of integration through multiple curves some of these arrows will get into this region through this curve and some of these arrows will get into the region by crossing this curve so in this case these arrows are crossing multiple curves to get into the region so what we will do we will divide this region of integration into two regions say region 1 and region 2 such that each of these regions will satisfy the condition of these arrows which is these arrows will get into the region and get out of the region by crossing only one curve now after this we will note down the lower and upper limits for inside integral and how to write these limits for that we will take the equation of the curve through which these arrows get into the region this curve is going to give us the lower limit of the inside integral similarly we will see the equation of the curve through which these arrows are coming out of the region this equation is going to give us the upper limit of the inside integral for example look at this region of integration when we throw arrows parallel to x axis first these arrows will cut this curve to get into the region so equation of this curve is going to give us the lower limit of the inside integral and these arrows are coming out of the region by crossing this curve so this curve's equation will give us the upper limit of the inside integral
Now, when we throw arrows for the second time, we should observe the curve through which these arrows get into the region and come out of the region. The boundary points of these curves will give us the lower and upper limits of the outside integral. For example, look at this same region of integration which we used in the previous case. If we throw arrows parallel to y axis for the second time, from bottom to top, we see that these arrows are crossing this curve first and this curve then. So boundary point of this curve we will consider as lower limit of the outside integral and boundary point of this curve we will consider as upper limit of the outside integral. Now let us see an example in which we will use this technique to change the order of integration. In this video we are going to see particularly type 1 examples in which we will change the order of integration without splitting the region of integration. So let us see the first example. Here we are asked to change the order of integration and evaluate this double integral of e raised to x square dx dy over the inside integral limits 4y to 4 and outside integral limits 0 to 1. Let us recall step 1 of the technique. Step 1 says recognize the equations of curves which bounds the region of integration and draw them. So here in this case the region of integration is bounded by x is equal to 4y, x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 curves. Let's draw them. This is your x is equal to 4y, this is x is equal to 4, this is y is equal to 0 and this is y is equal to 1. These four curves bounds this region of integration. Now we go for step 2. Here to change the order of integration that is to make it dy dx we first throw arrows parallel to y axis from bottom to top and we will see whether they cross only one curve each time they get into the region and get out of the region. So look at here when we throw arrows parallel to y axis from bottom to top we see that these arrows crosses this x axis to get into the region and they crosses x is equal to 4y curve to get out of the region. That means they crosses one curve each time they get into and get out of the region. So we say yes these arrows do cut only one curve each time. So we do not need to split the region of integration. So which curve they crosses first? They cross y is equal to 0. So this y is equal to 0 gives you the lower limit of the inside integral. Now which curve they crosses while leaving the region of integration? It is x is equal to 4y that is y is equal to x by 4. So y is equal to x by 4 is the upper limit of the inside integral. So now your new integral will look like this whose inside integral will have lower limit 0 and upper limit as x by 4. Now we go for step 4. Here for outside integral limits we will throw arrows parallel to x axis from left to right. This time we will observe the curves through which these arrows get into the region of integration and come out of the region of integration. The boundary points of these curves will give us the lower and upper limit of the outside integral. Now when we throw arrows parallel to x axis from left to right we ask ourselves which curve they crosses first. So they crosses x is equal to 0 curve. So x is equal to 0 is the lower limit of the outside integral. Now we ask ourselves which curve they crosses second while leaving the region of integration. Here the curve is x is equal to 4. So boundary point of this curve is x is equal to 4. So x is equal to 4 is the upper limit of the outside integral. So new integral after changing order from dx dy to dy dx will have these limits. So let us evaluate this integral. Integration of e raised to x square with respect to y is e raised to x square into y over the limit 0 to x by 4. Let us substitute these limits in y. So we have x by 4 minus 0 that is just x by 4. 
Now to evaluate integral of e raised to x square into x by 4 dx, we will take substitution technique. Here we will put x square is equal to t, that is 2x dx is equal to dt and limits are when x is equal to 0, t will also be equal to 0 and when x is equal to 4, t will be 16. Let's transform this integral from x to t. So new integral will be equal to integral from 0 to 16 of e raised to t into x dx will be dt by 2. So here it will be dt by 8. Integration of e raised to t is e raised to t over the limit 0 to 16. So after substituting these limits, we will have e raised to 16 minus e raised to 0 and e raised to 0 is 1. So value of i is 1 by 4 into e raised to 16 minus 1. I hope you understood this technique of changing order of integration. Let us move ahead for second example. Here we are asked to change the order of double integration of x upon x square plus y square dy dx over the inside integral limits x to x square by 3 and outside integral limits 0 to 3. Let us go with step 1. In step 1, we have to rectify the equation of curves which bounds the region of integration and we have to draw them. In this case, the equations of curves which bounds the region of integration are as follows. They are y is equal to x, y is equal to x square by 3, x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3. This is parabola y is equal to x square by 3. This is line x is equal to y. This is line x is equal to 3. And this green line is x is equal to 0. These curves bounds this region of integration. Now let us follow step 2. Since we have to change the order of integration to dx dy, we first throw arrows parallel to x axis from left to right. And then we will see if they cuts only one curve each time they get into the region and get out of the region. So look at here, when we throw arrows parallel to x axis from left to right, these arrows crosses x is equal to y curve to get into the region of integration and then they crosses y is equal to x square by 3 curve to come out of the region. So yes, these arrows cuts only one curve each time they get into and leave the region. So we do not need to split the region of integration. So which curve they crosses first? They crosses x is equal to y. So x is equal to y becomes the lower limit of the inside integral. And which curve they crosses second time? They crosses y is equal to x square by 3 curve that is x is equal to plus root 3y curve. So this becomes the upper limit of the inside integral. Now we go for step 4. Here for outside integral limits, we throw arrows parallel to y axis from bottom to top. This time we observe the curves through which these arrows get into the region and get out of the region. And the boundary point of these curves will give us the lower and upper limits of the inside integral. Look at here. When we throw arrows parallel to y axis from bottom to top, we see they cuts this y is equal to 0 curve. So y is equal to 0 becomes lower limit of the outside integral. Similarly, while leaving the region, they crosses x is equal to y curve. And on this curve, the boundary point is 3 comma 3. So the upper limit of the outside integral is y is equal to 3. So after changing the order of integration from dy dx to dx dy, the new integration will have limits y to root 3y and 0 to 3. I hope you understood the change of order for this particular example. Now I have couple of example for you. The corresponding solutions are also mentioned so that you can tally your answers. Please write me in comment box whether you got the same answers or not. In my next video, we will see examples of changing the order of integration in which we need to split the region of integration.
Till then, keep watching. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.